My TED Talk is on why not nuclear power. When somebody hears the word nuclear, they, the thought that immediately comes into mind is the word explosion and radiation. Radiation is generally what causes a lot of fear in nuclear power. Most people don't understand it, and therefore what they don't understand, they naturally fear. If you told somebody that they get more radiation from st standing in a granite building than they would from living next to a nuclear power plant, they'd likely not believe you. These types of responses have been given out by the nuclear industry for a long time now, and they have done nothing to change public opinion. It is still about 50-50. More safety outlines and standards have done nothing to impact public opinion either. Therefore, the problem isn't about putting out more safety standards and outlines. It is about the image that nuclear power has transformed into. This image of nuclear power is fueled from nuclear accidents that have greatly been exaggerated by the media and organizations like Greenpeace. Three Mile Island, Chernobyl, and Fukushima are all household names now. Everybody knows about these incidents. The majority of people think that there are huge losses of life associated with these incidents when there actually was not. The main causes of death since 1986 in Chernobyl residents are not nuclear related. In Three Mile Island, no deaths and no increased cancer rates were reported. And in Fukushima, some plant workers were exposed to high levels of radioactive material. However, no residents around it reported any increased radiation illnesses. In the latter, 20,000 deaths from the tsunami were largely forgotten. So should we just push all the blame to the media and organizations like Greenpeace for smearing poor nuclear power? No. I tend to think the problem is more about within the industry itself. The general thinking in the industry is that they knew what was best for people. To convince the public, clean, the same clean, safe nuclear power slogan was read out to the public. The same approach and not changing the message is similar to this image and just hoping for the best in my opinion. Recently the industry has put out images such as this in effort to promote nuclear power as an option for curbing climate change. However, it hasn't worked effectively because it hasn't had the support of large environmental groups. So then what is the solution for nuclear power? The solution to me is to start out with a fresh new nuclear technology. All the accidents like Chernobyl and Fukushima and Three Mile Island are related to an aging version of nuclear power. So it has to be something that takes care of all the reasons that people have a problem with nuclear power, such as weapons proliferation, uranium is a rare resource, and the production of radioactive materials and the storage. Luckily, we developed a technology to take care of this in the 1950s. However, it wasn't introduced because it couldn't make a nuclear weapon. It is a lithium fluoride thorium reactor. However, it may sound complicated, but it's actually much simpler from today's modern technology. It uses abundant thorium as a resource. It can't be used to make a nuclear weapon, and it doesn't produce high-level radioactive waste. It can even burn the race waste that we've already created from nuclear reactors in it. With this technology, we can supply our demand for energy for the next 1,000 years because of thorium's abundance on Earth, while being environmentally responsible and curbing climate change. With clean, unlimited energy, we can improve our lives and the lives of everyone on Earth because our energy use directly correlates to our quality of life. There was a dream that nuclear power would provide cheap, clean, unlimited energy for all when it was invented, and that dream is alive today. All we, the public, need to do is forget the old stereotypes of nuclear power and see the potential of a future powered by new, innovative nuclear technologies. Thank you.